You know, guys, a lot of people have been saying that, that for whatever reason that I copy wrestling Jesus and that I copy him and, and, and blah, 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 blah. And, and you know what? In this video, I will not be doing anything wrestling Jesus related. Not one bit, which is why I'm reading from a list. Um, so apparently Polston uh, did a little response. And by the way, number one, he didn't change the angle of the phone. It was still lengthways and stuff uh it was it was terrible uh <laughs> listen there's nothing more than a scarier sight than seeing sean polston with his face up close jesus christ so um polston one of the main problems with his response and i've seen this with a lot of people that have had to deal with polston is that he actually talks about the complete opposite of what your original res your video was about responding to him so um that's why i'm making this list because it's literally all over the place it's like 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 look at this like i i literally had to make bullet points ladies and gentlemen over this so anyway um, Polston starts off with Earthworm Jerry, which is apparently one of the titles of this video. Polston, I don't know if you're aware of this, but people didn't find the joke funny before. They're not gonna find it funny now. In fact, some people were writing to me saying, what do you actually mean by that? I think, I think this is gonna be another Fire the Guy with the Nose. Which, by the way, I'm glad that that's been brought back now. It's kind of hilarious that, that, that the Guy with the Nose thing has been brought back. I, I personally find it absolutely hilarious. Oh yeah. This is probably the worst thing that I ever heard. So he didn't make a point in his video, but he did in his comment section. If I can get it right now for you, I'll see if I can get this stuff right now. I'll bring his video up here for you guys. Oh, Jesus, there's his face there. It's enough to scare any human being. Um, so, yeah. So someone rightfully pointed out and said Sting was a WCW creation, not a TNA creation. This is what Polston wrote, and I quote, He kept himself relevant in TNA. I understand that he was a WCW, a WCW product, but he maintained he he <laughs> he maintained in TNA. <laughs> I should probably end this video right now. By the way, this was uh, something else that I didn't point out. If you actually go to Polston's channel, all his thumbnails are like his eyes just staring at the camera picture. <laughs> I think, I, I, I listen, there, I have two theories about Polston. Number one, he's a complete moron. And number two, he's a massive troll that, that I don't know is like Tommy Wiseau or something. I don't know. I just, I just, I have fucking no idea what goes through this man's brain. I, I really don't. Whew. Oh, by the way, there was more comments. I hate the fact this thing. Da, 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 da. Let me have a look more. Uh, yeah, it's just more kind of bullshit. Um, so, uh, let's have a look here. Okay, so he complained about how long my video was, even though the video was actually edited. It actually took me, um, I think it was like two, three hours to actually edit. You know, for posting, if I'm actually going to make an effort, the least you could do is make an effort. You know, um, but whatever. Um... I mean, Polston, just watching you for two minutes is long enough, so I don't know what the hell you're on about there. And by the way, people seem to enjoy it as well, by the way. Um, in fact, I think I lit a fire in the YWC because it was getting really boring um, before there. Um, oh yeah, Polston does this, so apparently he has this new voice where he goes, yeah, I sit like this and get a pa I think he's done it before and stuff, like this Jack Swagger voice. Like, I think he's trying to be me. I don't know what that is. Like, Polston, like, if you're going to say a joke and I have to actually look at the context of the joke, it's not funny. The same with the Earthworm Jerry thing. It's, you understand what I mean, mate? Like, that's what, that's how comedy works. Um, he then made a really bore, I don't know, some Bruce Willis joke. He was talking about Bruce Willis on the video. I have no idea. Oh, yeah, so, 
he, he got angry over my Dark Horse comments. So, um, if you have watched the video, and I would highly recommend you do, because it's quite a treat. By the way, Paulson, thank you for the shout-out, my dear. Thank you for the shout-out. Um, he then turned around and said that, um, that I was, I was overly praising Dark Horse. And, 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 and Paulson, the reason why I did that is because I know it would get to you. You know, we all know that you want to be better than Dark Horse. That's why I did the video. You took it literally. But the fact that you're pointing it out in this video goes to show that maybe my joke was actually true. I'm just saying, mate, like, if you have to actually make a point of me praising Dark Horse, maybe it goes to show you that, I don't know, you're a little bit ashamed? I'm just saying. Um, he then, right, so this is another crazy thing. He then claims that I called him a neckbeard. When, I don't think I actually called him a neckbeard in the video at all. Um, like, I don't know what that is, Paulston. I don't think you have a neck beard. He then said, you called, he said, I have a neck beard. I don't know what that is. I don't know. Maybe it's a different language. Like, Paulston language. Paulston language, I think it is, probably. I'll probably have to check it out in Google Translate. Oh, yeah. This is, this is another weird one. So, he said that I am famous for reaction videos. Now... Like, there's no denying that I probably could have become bigger doing reaction videos, okay? I was on Russell Hart's Good News. I, I did a lot of good things. Um, he then said that I reacted to Tyro Magnus. Actually, I I think I reacted to one video on Tyro Magnus in my entire career. Um, but actually, the video in question was me being on television. So, I don't know what you mean by that. Um, he then said that I don't have any talent talking about wrestling. Again, like, I've 40,000 subscribers on Entarena, 22 million views, General Jerry channel going solo, nearly at 4,000, by the way, in a short pace of time, and the way YouTube's going and WWE's going, I think that's pretty good. Um, nearly 2 million viewers now in total on my channel. So to say that I'm not that good, mate, is dumb. Like, I could just say that you're not good. Like, I mean, come on, Paulston, you can hit me up with better crap than this. Um, oh yeah, so, um, when he was trying to address some of my points, he then went on a ramble about Paige, and Paige was actually never mentioned in my video, like, I one off, I said, oh yeah, the Del Rio incident, and everything else, but then, like, he thought that that one second where I said the Del Rio, like, I was just literally listing off the things that happened in Global Force Wrestling, he then took that one point, like, like a majority of the video and he started going on about Paige and saying how I talked about Paige when I didn't even mention Paige in the video. I think this is the workings of a madman or I don't know. He then says again, I'm a WWE fanboy. Are you serious? Like, did you even... Wa oh yeah, that's another thing. He didn't even watch majority of my video. You know, when I actually completely annihilated him in that video where I used every single point that he used and he just couldn't counter it so instead he just comes up with this random dribble just all over the place in fact I'm probably gonna burn this sheet afterwards um he then makes like an ex-girlfriend joke or something like oh yeah by the way he starts actually you know he actually kind of starts doing the general jerry thing you know like whenever i do jokes and i say something like and then da, 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 and then i say something like completely random like in a curse word or something or if i like make a joke out of something he literally takes that format in his video as well if you actually watch the video which i highly recommend you don't but if he if you are gonna watch it just look for like kind of general jerry like, kind of, like, little inside kind of jokes there, which Polston does, like, Polston kind of takes, um, people from various things, and here's the thing, though, like, a lot of people seem to be these types of things where they're like, oh, but, like, you copy this person and stuff, like, I'm my own individual person, but I do draw inspiration from other people, like, the only way you can get better is to look at various people that cover professional wrestling and be better because you want to be a better entertainer and you want to be a better person when it comes to the community and you have to you know take a few things here what might work here and other people work off here and everyone's happy but not Polston you know he, he just rips you clean off um 
Oh yeah, so what made this video even more less horrible is that as Irvent went on, you probably want to get that fixed pulsed in, just saying. Um, probably want one of those strippy, um, army men to fix that with a spanner. Um, uh, so he then... <laughs> He's going to be pissed off at that joke. <laughs> anyway, um, he then says that I've been going on for the last seven years about TNA... Yeah, Paulston, the last seven years I've been right. Um, if you actually look at it, A, TNA's dead. The name's gone. Um, since I've talked about it seven years, Global Force Wrestling or TNA or Impact or whatever the hell you want to call it now is on a decline. Um, and you can refer to my last video about the topics that I talked about. Which, by the way, you didn't even have the cojones to even discuss about it. You just said, oh, it's half of the video. I can't watch it. You know, because you're lazy. You know, for crying out loud, mate. I mean, if you're going to come after me, at least have the audacity to come at me with somewhat of an argument. Like, that's like, you literally showed up to, uh, to uh, I mean, I, I, I can't, I, this guy's a fucking moron. This guy's an absolute idiot. Oh yeah, so he then says, and this is no joke, he then says that Global Force Wrestling is on to, to, to great things. He then says that they're going to be making the territories again. <laughs> Yeah, it says Global Force Wrestling is going to be creating territories across America. I mean, Polston, I know, like, I mean, well, I know Global Force Wrestling don't have any video games, mate, but I think you've been playing WWE 2K a little bit too much there, playing the, uh, the little fantasy games there, if you think that's going to happen. Um, oh yeah, this is another thing. He then says that I use bots. <laughs> He then says, I use bots, and he says, we all know, Jerry, you use bots. He then also, by the way, admitted to using bots in the fucking video, which, you know, that's uh, not going to make a lot of people happy, I say, in the YWC. But, like, Polston, I don't need bots, like, for Christ's sake. Like, I'll even look right now. Here's the amount of channels that I have right now. I have one, two, three. One is the Jerry Vlogs channel, which I was supposed to do vlogs. I made one video in and couldn't be arsed. And then the other one is SmackFed, which was an eFed me and WJ came up with. And other than that, it's actually my main channel. That's literally the only accounts I need. Because literally having bot accounts just makes you a massive pussy, for Christ's sake. You know, and, and, and Polston, if you honestly believe that I would do bot accounts to like up my own video, then, like, you clearly don't know the type of person that I am. My whole thing... Thing on YouTube is that I will get my opinion out there by any means necessary and also not only that but I don't care if people disagree or agree with me or not like for example the walk culture video when when you remember when walk culture did that bullshit I got a ton of dislikes but I didn't censor the comments and and and, and disable the the like and dislike bar I allow people to go ham on it because it's freedom of speech that's that's my philosophy. Uh, if people want to get their opinion, if people agreed with you, Polston, I wouldn't care. Honestly, you know, there'd probably be a bunch of mental cases, but you know, it is what it is, big lad. Um, we're on the final stretch here. Then he then says, uh, "Oh yeah, this is another thing." So, um, righty, bulk buckle up there, mate. He then says he's going after the smart busters, Polston. I can say this out of sheer certainty that the smart busters do not give a flying goddamn about you. Um, in fact, after this video, I will not be mentioning you again. You are a nice toy to play with, but you know I have to get on to bigger and greater things, Polston. You know I have to get on to bigger and greater things there. Um, so yeah, I mean, whatever righty and lefty do is up to them, but, you know, I wouldn't even respond, lads, to be honest, the guy's a fucking moron. Um, uh, oh yeah, so then he says about the lizard people, um, he then takes the joke quite literally, and pr literally proves a point to turn around and say, well, I don't believe in lizard people, I mean, Jerry, you know, um, it's a joke, mate. And again, going back to the Dark Horse saying the fact that you have to focus in on an actual joke goes to show you that maybe you do believe in lizard people, mate. I'm just saying. Um, oh yeah, he then said that, uh, oh yeah, so this is the, the final point and this is 
by far the worst thing that I've ever seen posted. It might be the most awesome and the most disgusting thing that I've ever seen in my life. But he then said that, Jerry, why don't you go after, um, why don't you go with the Smart Busters and WJ and then face me and we can have a, and I quote, Summer of Polston. Um, <laughs> see, this is the problem with Polston. He legitimately thinks, which by the way, bit of a ripoff of CM Punk there, Polston. Bit of a ripoff of CM Punk there. I'm just saying. But like, I mean, that's, that joke's, I mean, the summer of Polston. We can have the summer of Polston again. First of all, Polston, it's winter. Um, it's actually autumn, so it's not the summer, mate. I'm sorry. Like, if you, you're that mental, you can't even tell the difference between the seasons. Second of all, the last thing that the YWC, is, the YWC need is a summer of Polston. That is the last thing anyone wants to see. In fact, never mind the summer. The last thing people want to see is Polston. Okay? For Christ's sake, mate. Um, so, yeah. Um, all in all, um, this has been pretty much a, a big waste of time, to be honest with you. And, uh, yeah, um, it's just been a massive waste of time, ladies and gentlemen, um, yeah, I don't know, like, I don't really know what I'm doing with my life responding to Boston. <laughs> But yeah, um, guys, let me know what you think in the comments below. Um, honest to God, ladies and gentlemen, th the response was legitimately terrible. Um, but anyway, that'll be the last time I respond to Polston. I don't want to give him too much because then he becomes obsessive and he goes, I want to debate, Jerry, I want to debate. And then he makes a big deal about it and then he goes crazy and then... And then he thinks that, like, hurricanes are a blame for stuff or whatever. Fucking mental case. Oh, I hope that a bit of... Uh, oh, yeah, he then said about the Flat Earthers. That's another thing. He then turned around and said that he doesn't believe in Flat Earth, but he'll have a debate over with people over Flat Earth and respect their opinion. Listen, I don't respect anyone that believes in a Flat Earth, okay? I mean, come on. You're fucking mental, okay? If you actually believe that, for Christ's sake. But anyway, um, I'd like to thank you guys so much for watching. Um, so yes, that's the last time I'm going to respond to him. So in case my subscribers are worried, in case is this going to be a back and forth war between me and Polston, absolutely not. This is the last response. That's the last thing I have to say about that complete and utter twat. This is General Jerry on the General Jerry channel. Signing out. Dark Horse is better!